I like whipped cream. And, uh, recipe was really too easy. Was it should, too easy? This was too easy, yeah. It's not easy for you. We, <laughs> No, we're out of time. We're out of time. Yeah. Well, well, we're just going to have to cut something out of the middle. <laughs> On this show, that's not going to be hard to do. Welcome to another edition of At Home on the Range. You're Barbara Venezia. And you're John Cream. Yeah. And we cooked for 228 episodes from 1992 to 1998. And that was six years. Six years, yes. Boy. You did the math. And the show you're about to see was show number 38. It was filmed in 1993. And this was a very, very important episode for us. Because in 1993, Jim Washburn, who was an L.A. Times columnist, uh, had visited our show. And the article had just come out in the L.A. Times that changed our life. Yes. And we actually showed the article on the show. And from this article, let's see, who we got, that's how we got onto the home that's show. That's how we got on the home show, yeah. We got on the home show on ABC because of this article in the LA Times. One of the producers what happened, the executive producer. The whole bunch of them come racing down here. Yeah, Woody Frazier happened to be reading that article, and he came yep. down, and then we did our dog food episode for yep. him. Mm -hmm. And then we became a regular on the home show every Wednesday morning. Yeah, and that was fun. That was fun. They taped live they, in the garage. Because they were always pissed off at us. <laughs> Because they had a, they had what they call the standards and practices, right? Person that you can, that you and, said was an was an ex nun. Yeah, she was an ex. Well, I well, she I, wasn't really. An I think she was a current nun. <laughs> she didn't look like she'd ever had none. It's it's a lot it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun and I know you're going to enjoy this edition of At Home on the Range. We well, can't do welcome it. to another edition of At Home we on the Range. We can't start the show. I haven't got my tools. <laughs> I had a, we're I had here a, in the garage, what? I had a rubber mallet here a minute ago. Where did it go? Oh, how did it? Oh, boy. Okay, start the show. Can we start the show? Now you can start the show, all right. That's what they change tires with, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, start the show, Barbara. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I have some incredible, incredible viewer mail. Oh, are we on camera now? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb right. you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, the fir first <clears throat> off, I have to say a big, big thank you to uh, Jim Washburn of the L.A. Times, because in the May 19th view section, here we are. It's called Chef de Garage, and we not only have this part of the newspaper, but inside there is a humongous section Isn't that great? of us. Yeah in the L.A. Times, so thank you! Yeah. And, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm sure glad that Barbara can't read or she'd be mad, you know? <laughs> but you know what, and so thank you, Jim Washburn, we love you. But All you right. know what, they put us on the same page as the article on cemeteries. Oh. It says okay. cemeteries are fighting for business. Okay. So. Let's don't give them any business. No, no. no. So let's, we, let's but thank fight. you, thank you. We are so thrilled. It is so nice to be so popular. And then, look at this. Quick and easy cooking. Our friend Connie gave this to us. And this is presented by the home economics teachers. Isn't that terrific? And so it's a really quick, easy book. Not that Connie was complaining about these wonderful recipes you make. But I, but see, there's pictures in this cookbook. That's book. good. That's the way Denny's is on the menu. They have pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. His All right. favorite restaurant. And then we were faxed. You know, I get a lot of fax mail. This is, it's a second annual spam cook-off picnic. Really? Yes. 
Hey, and I do spam really good. Well, yes. this lady faxed us I was raised on spam. I love it. Is that why? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. Yeah. It's good stuff. It is, yeah. You know, it's made from the front end of the hog. That's why they call How it spam. special. Yes. Well, yeah. you know, since we did go to the chili cook-off, if we want to go to the spam cook-off, do you think we got a shot at winning? We could, we could. But okay. where is it? It's in Torrance, California. Well, that's too far. And... <laughs> oh, okay. That's out of the county. Oh, okay. No, well, then we'll forget far. about that. Yeah, okay. Good. This soup is good. I made it this afternoon. It's really terrific. It's chicken cabbage soup. Chicken cabbage yeah. soup. Was that three or four? <laughs> three. All right, all right. Good thing they're paying attention. Right, cool. Now, this is, uh, what is this? Where's the piece of paper that this was in This is black pepper and... Something else. It's it's either, like it's, bird seed. It's either... <laughs> I think it's oregano. Let's smell it. Anyhow, we're going to put it in. It's black pepper in here. No, it's not oregano. It's thyme. Black thyme. pepper and thyme, yeah. It's thyme for it's my thyme. stirring spoon. Turn this. Uh, turn I have it. the urge to stir. Turn it. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to stir red tonight? I or would like white? to have something that matches my nail. How's this? Thank you. All right. All right. Hey, turn the fire down. It's going too fast. It's, it's going too fast. Now, let's see. We've got... Well, got, that, doesn't but it won't cook if it don't, they don't leave it in the how pot. How come there's fire on this burner with no pot on it? Because somebody left it on. Oh, what? Yeah. wonder what somebody that was. Turn it on. Okay. <laughs> Can you turn this down some more? Sure. Just a little more. Okay. Sure. Okay. And then, and then actually, if you put the lid on it, it'll do better. Now, I thought chicken soup had like chunks of chicken in it. It'll have chunks of chicken. Just then be patient. Then what do you do with the bones? Now, and besides the chicken soup now, we're going to have, uh, uh, this is a soup and sandwich thing. We're going to have a turkey parmesan sandwich a turkey parmesan yes, sandwich yes 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 okay and this is a real recipe i didn't make this up where'd you get this recipe come on I cut this book it came out this is a great recipe another picture book yeah it's wow. got pictures. where is it it's uh i don't know see if i can't I don't okay so when we're on. finished our turkey our mm. chicken soup's supposed to look like this no. not no <laughs> no 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 i didn't now, this think is so a, did you see what i just did I saw you slice that little bag. Yeah, and made it like this. See? Whoa. So if you lay that down like that, and then you put one of these pieces of turkey on here, uh -huh. and then you put this over the top, uh huh. then you can go out in the garage and get the rubber mallet, which we have right here. And we pound the turkey out, see? See? And it really gets big. See how big that gets? It also gets thin like tissue paper. That's right. You can see through well, it. Well, now, I tried to do this at home because I saw this trick before, and when I picked it up, it all shredded. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know how to do it. you got to be good. <laughs> you got to be good, see? But all those right. are pretty flat. Why do you have to make them flatter? Well, you... Because uh, it says so in the recipe. No, you know what it doesn't say? It Actually, the recipe says you're supposed to do this with chicken. Pound them out like this? No, you're just supposed to. I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't really understand it, so I made it with turkey. So now you're going to actually bang a, away on those four this pieces. Is a, yes, yes. Well, this you know, is you, a, it, you could put two in there at the same time. Okay. You want me to do that? Two. Well, I think probably it, overlap. Since we're only a 21-minute show. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Look how big that is. Isn't that great? That is just wonderful. You know, the wonderful. camera can't even see this, can it? It can. John's shaking his head that he can. All right. Well, that is the most unappetizing thing I have ever seen. Yeah. A grown man no. beating the meat. Oh, Barbara. This is a family, this is a family show, Barbara. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All hey, right. those ladies from no. that hat connection, they no. got that joke. Now we're all through with this. We're gonna those throw ladies' this away. minds are in the gutter. Yes. We're going to throw that away. How's our, how, let's look at our chicken soup. How's it doing? Ta-da! Okay, all right, terrific. It doesn't look any different than it did a few minutes ago. Yeah, well, the chicken, see how the chicken is getting white and it's getting done. It looks anemic. All right, put the, uh, put the cover back on. All right, now, now we're going to take this bag right here. Hold, you want to hold this bag? Yes. All right, this is an airline bag that they have. <laughs> uh, and, and we have breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs. Bread How crumbs. much breadcrumbs? Quarter of a cup. Okay. Parmesan cheese. Uh-huh. How much? Quarter, quarter, of quarter of a cup. Quarter of a cup. Okay. Quarter of a cup, yeah. And then we got something else. Now the oregano. Oregano and black pepper. Okay. All right. How much? All right. Uh, 
one spoon of oregano and a half a spoon of uh, black pepper. Now, Your memory is amazing. Now, can you close this like this? And, yes. And then we're going to shake it up like this, okay? All right. Ooh. And after it's all shook up, can you hold this again? Okay, now, now it's all stuck in the creases uh, of the bag. Now, that's an airline bag, but don't get ideas. Just hold the bag. We're going to throw the turkey in there, all right? All right. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, all right. Now, now we're going to do this again. Now we shake the turkey up. I can do that. Can you do I bet you could do that. Oh, boy. Uh oh, it's coming out of the bottom. Hold your hand on the bottom. Now, don't, now, now we don't have any more turkey, so don't mess it up. There's a hole in this bag. I got a defective bag. No, that's from. Boy. Okay, you know, it kind of looks like skin with stuff on it. Boy. Looks good, though. It's all coated. Well, this coated. is terrific. Yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Yeah, where okay. should we put it now? Well, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put this on this plate now. See how nice that is? It's, got, it's all covered on all, all eight sides with the stuff. Not evenly, though. Well, that's the way you shook it. No, this is nice. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. All right, all right. All right. All right. How about we take some and then pour Terrific. some on? Terrific. No, we, we're going to do that later. We're going to oh, do that okay. later. All right, I'm now. ahead of myself here. So, yes. Which okay, is nice. there's something in this pan. That's water. Okay. I thought so we're gonna put we're gonna put four tablespoons of olive oil in this pan okay. right here. All right. All right. So precise in your measuring. All right. You shouldn't have put that water in there, Barbara. That's what's making it spatter. Oh. <laughs> See the water is boiling. The water is boiling and uh, Yeah, try to explain this away. <laughs> Yeah, well, it does. It makes steam, and the steam explodes, and that's what makes it spatter. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. okay. Now, and the camera can see this. Now, we don't have to do anything to that, Barbara. All right. <laughs> Boy. Except when it gets done on the one side, we're going to turn it over. Oh, then I, then I need another utensil. All right. How about this? Do you want this? Oh, I like those. All right. Yeah. Okay. Very medicinal. All right. We just got this from an audience member. It says, we have an audience member who wants to understand the world better. He would like to order a petite brunette, 18 to 20 years old, for exchange purposes. Well, well we will pass your card on to the YES That's, people. Oh, that, isn't that looking great? Oh, boy. You're doing good there. Oh, buddy. this is looking great. You're doing oh, great. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Now, we have here a half a cup of rice. Yes. We're going to put that, that in the soup. Is that instant rice? Of course it's instant rice. It's a 21-minute show. you got to stir that around somewhere. Okay. Well, now I need another utensil. All right. Don't you have your spoon? Here's oh, your yes, spoon. I have my spoon. Okay. But it's stir all it greasy. A little bit. It won't hurt. It's all Okay. Right. Have you turned Whoa. all these over yet? This is very challenging. Wow. All right. Thank you. Can, okay. we, can I use those for a minute, the, the tongs? Sure. Or do you think you... No, I, I better do it. What? I better do it. I'm going to take the chicken out of there. But it's pink. Yeah, it's pink. It's just right. Isn't that raw if the chicken's it's, pink? Yeah, raw chicken is very good. Okay. Now, now I had a little trouble this afternoon with this uh, chicken because I have to get the meat off of it. And it's hot, and you can't hang on to it very easy with your hands. So I went out to the garage. And it works. Look at that. Terrific, huh? Whoa. All right. Is he an innovator or what? No, I really did. I had it was, it was so hot you can't hold it. It really is, you know. Wow. You, gotta get the, you, you gotta, are too you gotta cool. Get the meat off there. <laughs> okay. Look at that. All right. Wow. Is that great or what? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So now all that for those three lousy little pieces? Well, that's a chicken leg. It's good. But you know? couldn't you have gotten the like kernel, a boneless chicken? The colonel chicken? got rich with these. You know that? Aren't the there boneless chickens? I saw them in the store. I know there are. Boneless chickens? How yes. could they walk? I don't know, but they sell them that way. Right? Not boneless legs. Boneless yeah. chickens. Boneless chickens. And, and skinless. skinless chickens. I skinned these. You did? Yeah, but you, you, you get them boneless and skinless, and they're, and they're very expensive. Oh, they are? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. This is cheap chicken here. Hey, you left, like, something on that. All right. Oh, hey, I... <laughs> Say, now, we need to take the, uh, what was in this, on this? Oh, the chicken uh -oh, was Oh, you know what? This. These are burning. Yeah, we got to take them off there. Right now, just a minute here. And they shrunk. Yeah, they were shrunk. Ow! Turn the fire off, Barbara. I'll just use my new mitt. All right. And, oh, they're just right. 
Yeah, oh. just right. Now put them on this pan here, on this plate. Okay. Oh, boy. Peggy Goldwater Clay gave us these mitts. We get a lot of free stuff, We you know? get a lot of we free really stuff. Do. I don't know, people must think we're really pathetic. We are, okay, now. Okay, greasy turkey. All right, just set Shouldn't that over there. Shouldn't we put, like, um, a paper towel or something to soak up the grease? No, no, no. Turn, did you turn it fire? Oh, my God. Oh. oh, boy. I've been saved. Barbara. <laughs> All right. In the soup. Okay. Now you can stir it up a little bit, okay? Or you can bring it over here on the on the Busby Berkeley camera. All right. Okay, I think I use the mitt. Uh-oh. All right. Oh, okay, thank you. All right. I'm glad you're paying attention. The fire's on here. Fire's on. Now this is a half of a of a thing of uh, frozen spinach. Okay. Box or whatever you call it. So is yeah. The water included. Water included. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it should be thawed out by now. Kind of neat because it's in a little square. Okay. And this is two cups of chopped cabbage. Okay. Okay. Did okay. you chop this cabbage? I chopped it with my own little hands. Yes. Wow. You know what? We need another. We need more water in there. We need more water. This is all soaked up. This doesn't look anyhow, like soup anymore. Anyhow, put it. Turn it. Put. It, <laughs> when you get it stirred up. Yep. If, if you ever get it stirred up. It's stirred. I'm stirring. And then stirring. put the lid on it. And there's a lot of water is going to come out of that cabbage. See, Because cabbage so? is mostly water. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Yes, it's so about... So if you eat it, you just pee a eight, lot? That, oh, <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Gee, man. Well, either you pee a lot or you just walk around bloated. <laughs> oh, Barbara. Oh. Is bloat food. <laughs> oh, my grandchildren, my grandchildren watch this show now. You they stop do. that. Yes. God. Boy. Okay. Now. So what do we do with these now? Well, we're going to make a sandwiches out of them right now. Okay. Right now, because we're we're just about there. And now we need the, fr the the frying pan. Put the frying pan right over here or somewhere. All right. Oh, terrific. Okay. All right. Now we're going to take the bottom halves of these of these buns here, and we're gonna swish them around in this olive oil. See, that's olive oil, isn't that neat, huh? That's what makes them good. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. that really, or do you just don't wanna clean the pan? <laughs> I don't believe this. No, the it's olive part oil, of the recipe. no, the olive oil. It's, oh, yes, it's a recipe in the recipe. You, you know, he doesn't it? like to clean the you pan. read this, right here. It says he it right in the recipe. He figures it burns off the next show. What happened to the recipe? <laughs> We're getting close. These sandwiches are so good, Barbara. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait. These sandwiches... Now, the recipe says mayonnaise, but I don't like mayonnaise, and I don't oil, like... Olive oil and, and butter? Butter, and I don't like anybody else to eat mayonnaise, so we're, uh, we're using margarine. Okay. All right? That's so greasy. And the margarine is much healthier than the, uh, than the mayonnaise, anyhow. Oh, yes, let's worry about our health now. Yes. <laughs> we have to, yeah. I had lunch with my heart doctor the other day, uh -huh. and it was the worst lunch I ever had in my life. <laughs> God. Oh, it was awful. What did he make you eat? He had some kind of fish. I don't know what it was. it was. It was terrible. Now, the whole thing was bad. Put that on this side, yeah. No, we don't. We put it on the other side. Put this it on side. the other side, because it, yeah. it's not as greasy looking, like over this way. It's more photogenic. All right. This is not the right shape, what happened there. I don't know, this should we cut right. that to the right shape? This is just right. We can right. squeeze it. Yeah, this is not the right shape either. You know, that might not be a bad idea, too, to yeah. cut that. Let's All right. just All right. cut them and squeeze All right. them. All right. I'll get my little fingers out of the way. Ooh, I cut myself this afternoon right there. Really did. Ooh. Something happened here. Oh, because... <laughs> no. No, wait. Oh, because you missed a bun. There you go. Now. Now we're, now we're right. 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 All right. I feel like I'm playing no, three-card Monty up here. These go last. These go last. All right. Now we got to put a little lettuce on here. 
I mean, we're building a sandwich. These sandwiches are terrific. They really and are. And we're having trouble with that. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not having any trouble, Barbara. Boy. And then the tomatoes go on these? The tomatoes go next, yeah. They match my nails, so I'll do that. Three tomatoes. <laughs> three tomatoes per sandwich. Three, I don't like oh, tomatoes. Oh, you're doing good. Barbara doesn't like anything. No. Well, not to eat, anyhow. All right. Okay. Now. Three tomatoes. Well, now you cut now, an unequal number of tomatoes. Now we go back. Now we go back in our bag. Let's just add, or we'll you cut know, we, this one. We in can half. throw them away, you know. No, I'll just put a little bit on each one, <laughs> so that they're all fair. Barbara, Barbara. I'll throw that one away. Will you excuse me for a moment here? Oh well, no okay. problem. All right. all right, all right. Now this is our stuff. Oh, breadcrumbs, raw. And cheese. And cheese. And cheese, yes. Parmesan cheese. Can we bake cheese. these? No, no, no. Parmesan cheese and... Uh, Isn't that going to get it? stuck Are in your teeth? Oregano. This Oregano, what... Parmesan cheese, pepper. Yeah. Um, you don't have any salt in this recipe. Right. No, there's no salt. Don't need salt. All right. Now, I had a... Th oh, here it is right here. I think you should add some water to this. Looks like it might need a little... Yeah. Although, although that's the way it was this afternoon, and it was really good. It was, it was, it was thick. Compared to what? Well, it's just good. When you eat it, it's good. This is terrific stuff. Well, it's been you know, in there a while. Can the camera see this? I'm yeah. sure it can. It's now, right above your head. Okay. Now, how are we going to serve this? We don't have any soup bowls. Do we have soup? We have these little things. Look. <laughs> Boy. All right. Well, we have them. <laughs> All right, all right. So we'll, we'll put mean, some. Why does he ask me to go get him for him? The shortest person on the set. I didn't ask you to do anything, Barbara. Well, I was trying to be helpful. Okay. Do we have You're a very um, a ladle? Oh, this is all right right here. This is very thick soup. Very thick soup. But it's very good. It really is. Really? Do you think did, so? If I, did I? Do we get everything in it? There's nothing left over over there, is there? Uh, no, I think we used right. everything. Oh. All right. Ta-da. Okay. Well, we got it dished. Okay. But what here's another do? ladle. Well, isn't that terrific? Okay, you know, it's, we're all done, Barbara. We are. Yeah, as soon as we clean the counter off here, we're done. Okay, well, I don't think they have to stick around for that. I think we can say goodbye. Why can't we say goodbye? Another exciting recipe. This is a really a great recipe. These sandwiches are delicious. And so is the soup. I believe you. You don't either. <laughs> but this, it's, it's, the soup is, is good. I made it this afternoon, and it's, and it's wonderful. Um, you know what was also a little bit of trivia? At the end of this episode, we actually walked through the audience, and in the audience was Buzz Aldrin, the famous astronaut, and yes. his wife Lois, yeah. and governor of California at the time, Pete Wilson. And his wife, Gail. And his wife, Gail. Gail. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Cause we, and we got pictures to prove it. Right. It's and in we, the book. It's in the book. It's in the book, right. Yes, yes right. right here. Yeah, yeah. And you haven't even talked about our Home on the Range cookbook. Yeah, right here. Our deranged cookbook. Yes which is available on our website. But that was fun. So we did have some famous people every now and then. Yeah, we did, in yeah. Show. Not many times, what but we so? did. But we did. Well, while he looks at that. Are. Oh, you have No, no, that's No, that's not, not it. No. That's a picture of the crew. This is, this is a, it's a gay crew. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I help it if our whole crew was gay. Anyhow, it's in there. They it's were just very somewhere. happy. I thought it was in here. We've got a few minutes left. Sit back and relax. Enjoy some of our classic clips from at home on the range. Well, I'm glad you're going for that back surgery because, well, you know, too. his feet get numb and then he says he's going to fall over. And, you know, my, my, my head's starting to get numb, too. Is it? Mm, yeah. Well, right. you know, we were in the store the other day and he said, you know, if all of a sudden I make a wild grab for you, it's because I'm going to fall over. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. All right. Then I got this really, really cute, you know, a couple weeks ago we made chicken stroganoff. It says, I love your show and never miss it. The other night you were making chicken stroganoff recipe that called for sour cream. Remember that? Yes. Okay. When you put it in the pan, Barbara remarked, well, why don't we just slap this on our thighs? Well, <laughs> we took you literally and we had the most fun with sour cream you can imagine. Oh, boy. 
I have news for Barbara. It's not just fun on your thighs. You know, that's the kind of kinky people watch this show. I know. I know. You know, we do. We probably have a lot of kinky people um, watching this show. I mean, just, well, you see the audience. What can we tell you? It's like, you know, ever watch Jerry Springer at night and wonder where those people come from? Yeah. You know, you really... Really, you would think on Thursday night somebody would have better, something better to do than this. You know, come here. Of course, it's cheap. <laughs> Did you know that the sperm count is up in several cities? Really? And this was on the front page. I'm kidding you not. I'm not smart enough to make this up. How, how, they, how can they tell? Well, now, this was the thing. How can they tell? But, they, but apparently it says here that um, it says that the, the highest sperm count was in New York City for that, some reason. That figures. And L.A. was second. And it says here that in several cities, it's down from 20 years ago. So there is weenie inspectors throughout the country. <laughs> and, and I don't, you know, I mean, isn't that kind of a strange job, though? I don't know. Maybe I would like to be a weenie inspector, but... It, <laughs> and the guy who did the study is Larry Lipschultz. And um, I, I can't Larry, you know. what? Lipschultz. Dr. Okay. Lipschultz. All right. And uh, obviously has a weenie fetish. And he, um, and he is following the trends.